Good morning, afternoon, or evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for another screencast. We're going to be doing setting up a Facebook application. So uh, let's talk about our mise en place first. Cooking, of course, for uh, getting everything in this place. We have a terminal window. We've got our desktop. We've got an FTP client, and we've got web design software, in this case, Macromedia Dreamweaver. So let's get started by creating, well actually let's get the, the Facebook application content ready first. I'm gonna go here to Blue Sky Factory's Publicaster, go to opt-in forms, and I'm gonna grab my opt-in form code, which is pretty straightforward, very easy stuff. I'm gonna go in here, copy and paste this, and go over to Macromedia Dreamweaver, and just slap it on the page. Now that's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen, so let's add a little bit of prettiness to this. No oh, body font family is Lucida Grand. You'll want to use Lucida Grand if you have the option to do so because that is Facebook's font of choice. Sans serif, and you'll want to set it to a font size 11 pixels, and that is the Facebook style. Now I'll add a little bit of copy to this just to make it pretty, and uh, to do that, let's go to my website and actually get the copy. That way it's consistent. Here's the copy. I could actually just copy this entire page if I wanted to, but I wanted to show the process for if you have never done this before, period. Paste. Ooh, I don't mean to link that up like that. Let's go ahead and chop out that extra link there. There we go, that's better. <clears throat> Sign up with Facebook. I'll make that a little, a little bit bigger. Sign up with a form. So there's our basic content for the Facebook fan page. Now we gotta go to actually create the thing. So let's go do it. Set up a new application. I call it uh, Chris Penn Newsletter. Do I agree to the terms? Yes, of course, even though I have no idea what they are. I can't even read that. Let's try that again. Uh, it looks like MNZ. You talk about the most obscure short codes ever. There we go. Okay, so we'll say Chris Penn newsletter, Chris Penn newsletter, website. I'll put my website because that's what this is gonna be in the domain for that site. Is this now? Let's go to integration. We'll call this uh, CSP FB app for fun. Now, here's a little tricky area. This Canvas URL is where on your web server Facebook is going to live, uh, the Facebook app is going to live. In order for you to make sure that all Facebook users can use your app, you need to have both a Canvas URL and a secure Canvas URL, one that's accessible by a secure HTTP. If your website does not have a digital certificate, this could be problematic. You might actually have a, a app that does not run for a certain percentage of Facebook users or just spits out an error. So uh, I'm actually going to use the Blue Sky Factory website here because I know we've got a digital certificate. And on my shared hosting account that I have for crushedhaspen.com, I know that we do not have, I do not have one available. So we'll just call it like this and we'll put this one here like that. And the tab name, we'll call it email updates, like that. Save changes. Now that looks pretty good. Let's go over to our FTP server. And uh, there we have the folder. Let's go ahead and uh, put some stuff in there. What are we going to put in there? Well, we need the example code from Facebook. Facebook gives you some instructions. Let's follow them to the letter. Open a terminal. Go to your desktop and execute the instructions as directed by Facebook. Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Now if we go to our desktop, we should see, up oh, there it is. We see the Facebook SDK. We're gonna wanna have a folder delete the previous ones just so that we can clear. We're going to want to have a folder with the Facebook library and digital certificate from that download. Right? 
and we're going to want this index page that we just created in Dreamweaver in it as well. Now we're going to want to take a look at the example code because we're going to need the top portion of this example code right here, everything in this PHP bracket, to be in the page we made. So we can copy that and close it. Here's the page we made earlier. Paste. We're going to change the relative path because we want that to be all be in the same folder for simplicity's sake. Here we have the app ID and the app secret. Let's go ahead and uh, close that and get our app ID and our app secret. Paste. Save. Okay. Now we should be in pretty good condition. We should have the content. <clears throat> we should have uh, Facebook's required integration information. Let's go ahead and upload all this to our FTP server. Better move this in here so it's all consistent. Replace. Good. Open that up. Copy. And copy it over. All right. So now we've got the files in place. <clears throat> Let's click on that example code thing. Let's just test it to see if this is even working. And there it is. Awesome. So we've got the content. We're, we've got it ready to go. Uh, it tests out fine. Let's go close this up and now go to the profile page. And now let's go install the app. Install it on my personal page. And now we're done. So that's how you create a Facebook app with all the content that you uh, want to have on it. Bear in mind, we could have added Google Analytics and any number of other things on here, but uh, that's getting a Facebook app up and running in less than 10 minutes.